friends and welcome to a new vlog. It is currently Monday evening and I thought I would just start my vlog this evening because nothing too exciting was happening this morning but this it will be another fun week. If you missed my last vlog you probably didn't see that I am kind of getting over a cold. I kind of just have had headaches and congestion and my sinuses have been kind of sore but I am feeling better. Right now the only thing that's lingering is a stuffy nose but I did like nasal spray and that actually helped quite a bit. Tomorrow is Nate's birthday and then it's also memorial weekend next weekend so I am so ready for a long weekend. The pool also opens this weekend and I'm gonna go down and see my sister. There's also an ice cream festival me and Nate are thinking about going on. So lots of fun things. So I am excited to take you all along with me. But anyway I just got done editing a video. I am currently having it upload. I have most of the thumbnail done. There's a couple finishing touches I need to put on it but I thought I would try this lemon lime poppy. I have tried the lemon lime Olipop, but not the poppy, so I thought we could try it together. That is so good. I feel like the Olipop one almost has like a honey flavor and this one doesn't seem to have that as much. This one tastes a little bit more similar to Sprite or 7-Up. It does still kind of have the honey flavor but not as much. And then I also wanted to show you this arc that I got in the mail. It's called Adam and Evie's Matchmaking Tour. This is a pen name for the same author who wrote Banyan Moon. I'll put a picture on the screen but that is by Tao Tai. I feel like that book was pretty popular with people who like to read a lot of literary fiction and I thought it looked really good. It was a Read with Jenna book club book. This is her debut into like more of a romantic type of book so I'm excited to see it. It says a rollicking unforgettable romance about two strangers finding love despite their best efforts as they embark on a sweeping matchmaking tour through Vietnam perfect for readers of Carly Fortune and Abby Jimenez, two of my favorite authors and I don't know. It just looks fun. It looks like there's going to be a grumpy mailman character. I'd love to see that. It says two stubborn hearts, one whirlwind adventure Adam and Evie's matchmaking tour is a story of how living bravely can lead you to the most unexpected places and the most imperfectly perfect loves. I love that. That sounds really fun. I feel like this also seems like a great summer read. It comes out in September so I want to read it before then so hopefully I can maybe get this on my June TBR but I thought that I would show you guys this and yeah that's kind of all I wanted to talk about right now. I am just about to watch Jeopardy Masters. The Jeopardy Masters competition is actually almost over which makes me pretty sad because with regular Jeopardy you don't get as attached to the contestants I feel unless there's someone who has a really long streak where with Jeopardy Masters I have been watching these six people for like the past seven or eight episodes or it'll be eight episodes tonight I think so I have gotten very attached to all of them and I like them all for different reasons it's almost like watching a reality show I mean obviously it's not because it's just like vastly different and this is a game show but I still feel that attachment to them that is what's going on I just thought I would intro this vlog kind of tell you what to expect in this vlog. I guess another thing is is that I really want to try and get on my workout and health grind. A switch has kind of been flipped in my head and I just really want to start focusing on that, prioritizing that. I feel like whenever I feel down in the dumps, workouts always help and feeling healthy always helps with that as well. So I'm also going to try to make that a focus of this vlog but I think tomorrow morning we would like to wake up early and maybe go for a walk outside. Now that is like pretty much summer, it starts to get light at like 5 30 so hopefully we can do that tomorrow but yeah i'm going to stop rambling on and on and i will talk to you guys later Wednesday and I didn't vlog too much yesterday because it was Nate's birthday and I kind of just wanted to be with him and in the moment but I did get a couple clips but anyway our plans were to go to a restaurant but they ended up being closed and it just so happens that they're closed every Tuesday so it's a little disappointing that we didn't get together and then we went to another place it's like a local pizza shop kind of close to us and then we just got a barbecue chicken pizza and and usually we really like it but it was not my favorite. I feel like I'm usually pretty nice about foods and stuff and like looking for the good I guess but it just wasn't that good and so 
is just kind of sad and disappointing but either way he had a good birthday and we also went on a little outside walk last night so that was also good but yeah that's why i didn't vlog too much yesterday and then monday i feel like i didn't vlog too much monday either but that was because i didn't start the vlog until later but i'm going to try to be better at vlogging the rest of the week i feel like i haven't been super good at it but I just woke up. I'm just about to finish getting ready for work. As you saw, I brushed my teeth, put deodorant on, did all that normal type of stuff. But I'm just going to change into work clothes, start getting my coffee ready, and maybe read a chapter or two of my book, and then have breakfast. So that's the plan, and I am just hoping today will be a good day. Wednesdays are my busiest day at work, so it's going to be a productive day. And I'm currently reading an audiobook called The Younger Wife by Sally Hepworth. Throughout May, I have just been on a Saturday Sally Hepworth binge and her thrillers are just like so dynamic there's so much that goes into them and I am about halfway through this one so I'm excited to see where it goes I feel like with the law for thrillers you don't really know where it's going to go either like it's just like up in there like how do these people relate to each other but yeah I'm excited to finish that I'll probably be able to finish that today but I will keep you updated on that and I am just going to finish getting ready now Alright, this is probably super bad to me, but I am on my lunch break right now, but I decided that I would get a quick little walk-in just to get some movement. I want to incorporate doing more walks throughout my day, not just at one point, so this is the start of that. I think I have like about 15 minutes walk, so I'm just going to watch a YouTube video, and then once lunch is ready, I'm going to have lunch. I may also go for a walk later tonight, but we'll see. This is a terrible angle, but anyway, I am just about it for another walk. I ended up doing 1.5 miles earlier. I may walk for another 30 minutes. I am just really trying to be on my, sorry if this has been blurry, but I'm just really trying to be on my exercise game. So that means doing stuff when I don't feel like it, doing stuff when I don't feel motivated. I don't feel super motivated. I mean, I do feel somewhat motivated, but just like not peak motivation. But that's like the one thing about working out and exercising is that you have to do it when you don't feel like doing it a lot of the time. Like I'm not advocating for doing it if you're sick or if you're doing stuff through injury, but just like sometimes if you're just like too sleepy or just low energy, sometimes doing a workout helps. I mean, sometimes it doesn't and you just need rest and relaxation, but I feel like I am at a point in my workout journey where I just need to push through because otherwise I would just be like, I'm low energy, I'm low energy every day and I would never get anything done. So I'm not for sure if I feel like reading or watching YouTube. I think I'm going to read for a little bit and then if I'm like not able to focus, I'll just switch to a YouTube video. So yeah, that is the plan and I will talk to you guys when I'm done. Good evening friends, we got off work quite a bit ago and then we had a meeting with the person who is going to be replacing our roof so we picked out our shingles and signed the contract for that and so that's pretty exciting and now we are about to go for a walk. We also just had dinner, I also did the laundry so it's been a productive evening already and it's only 6.38 so that's actually really productive because I put laundry in, I folded the laundry and now like I mentioned we're about to go for a walk. I kind of want to go for her a longer walk. 
just got back from our walk and I am about to put on some different shoes to pick some strawberries from the garden so I thought I would bring you along with me but anyway I feel like there's so much I want to update you guys on but I just have not had time because like I mentioned earlier the roofer came and I just feel like stuff like that just keeps popping up but like last week was a bunch of graduation stuff and it's just like not a lot of time to vlog and not a lot of time to read but I am still fitting it in during the evenings and last night I didn't even tell you guys but I ended up working like four hours of overtime so we were up until like 10 doing that and then we also watched Jeopardy. It was the finale of the Jeopardy Masters and I really enjoyed watching that this season but I do feel like the finale was a bit anticlimactic for me but I still really enjoyed it. Then today at work was good. I finished the audiobook The Younger Wife that I mentioned earlier in the vlog. I ended up really enjoying it and I'll share more of my thoughts in my wrap up but it was a great thriller. Highly recommend checking out Sally Hepworth's thrillers if you haven't already. Then I started a new one that I had on Libro FM and if you didn't know it supports your local bookstores and you can buy audiobooks and it supports your local bookstore so I have it attached to that but anyway I also have a referral a link in my description if you want to check it out but anyway since I'm an affiliate with them I get a certain amount of audiobooks free a month and so I started one from there it's called The Breakup Vacation and I just thought it'd be a fun summary read I didn't want to listen to another thriller I kind of wanted something a bit different from what my main read is which is Daughter of the Sign Queen it has taken me a long time to read it just because of everything I have told you and I also started it when I was still reading you with a view so I, I just can't focus on two books unless I mainly read it on the treadmill but I feel like I can't focus as well when I'm reading on the treadmill so I haven't been wanting to do that as much but anyway that's besides the point so I just wanted to read the breakup vacation because it's different from my current read so I started that and so far it seems like a really good summary read but it's definitely not going to be anything super revolutionary like right now it just seems like the main characters are getting drunk on vacation and it's very insta lovey right now so that's not my favorite thing so I am not loving it but those are kind of some of the updates i do have a couple more things i want to tell you when i come back inside but for now i am going to go pick some strawberries we just got in from picking our strawberries and we got quite a bit like this is pretty good so i am very happy with these nothing tastes as good as just fresh strawberries or fresh produce from your own garden i also wanted to show you that i got some new culture pops and one of my vlogs that i did end up posting i got my first order of culture pops and then i got just got sent this other one so i wanted to show you the flavors i got and try one with you guys so i got the pink grapefruit and ginger flavor the orange mango and lime flavor the ginger lemon and turmeric flavor and the lemon lime flavor Flavor. So I thought we could try this together. I want to try this lemon lime one. Mmm, that is so good. I love it. I think I like it a little bit more than the Olipops and Poppies because this one is a little more tart and the variety pack I got, it's called like the Zesty and Tarty variety pack I think and this definitely lives up to that. That's really good. I am very glad I got these. You guys know me. I love my little afternoon babies and these are a perfect little pick-me-up in the afternoon. I also have a code linked down below if you want to try out Culture Pop. I think you guys get 15% off with the code paperbacks and iced coffee. 15. I would highly recommend trying them out. They are very good and I feel like they're less sweet than the Olipops and Poppies but like in a good way. That is so good. But anyway, I think I may take a quick body shower maybe and then I think I am just going to spend the rest of the evening reading. I showed this in my Trader Joe's haul from last week but I got these Bear Bows protein bars. I have had two so far. The first one I think I tried on Monday and this is a salty peanut flavor and I think I had the cookies and cream flavor and then yesterday I had the chocolate dough flavor and it's literally the best protein bar I have tasted and I'm excited to try this one whenever I taste it but this brownie one that I had yesterday it literally tasted like brownie batter it was amazing but anyway I am very particular I would say about my protein bars but this literally tastes like candy I feel like I would rather get my protein from real sources but for something super quick and on the go a protein bar is a good go-to option so that is why I got those and I've really only seen them at my Trader Joe's but I was looking it up it looks like they may have them at Walmart so I may have to check there
Good morning, it is Saturday now. The first day, officially, I would say, of Memorial Day weekend. So today's going to be a fun day. Right now we are about to walk to a coffee shop and get some coffee. Then we're going to come home, get breakfast. I think then I may edit a little bit and then read a little bit. <laughs> and then we're going to go down to my sister's apartment and swim at their pool and hang out with them for a little bit. And then we probably just going to come home and it might storm. So we may hang out in their apartment a little bit too and also swim because there's supposed to be some breaks in the rain so that's kind of the plan that we have so far but i am just going to get ready for the day i am very excited for a long weekend off to go to the pool. I can't wait to have a pool day. We haven't had a pool day since we were in Florida so I am very excited. I'm also excited to see Emily and to see their apartment. We haven't seen it since we helped them move in so I'm excited to see what they've done with the place. Sunday friends. We are currently at Duncan right now and then we are going to go to Kroger get some stuff for a cake that Nate is going to make today and yeah today is going to be a good day. We don't really have too much planned today so it's going to be a relaxing day. I want to get some reading done. I want to get some editing done and I'm excited to take you all along with me. I also have to catch you guys up on what we did yesterday because yesterday was such a fun day and I also have a haul to show you so I will show you that when we get home but for now I am very excited for my Duncan. I have been home for a while now but I am still working on my iced coffee from this morning. I just got my regular. My go-to in the summer is an iced coffee with French vanilla swirl, a blueberry shot, and cream and it it's just my tried and true. Anyway, I'm just about to work on editing for a bit, but I wanted to tell you guys about my day yesterday because it was super fun. We did a lot of fun things and we spent a lot of time with my sister and her husband. So we drove down to their apartment. We helped them move a little over a month ago now. And at their new apartment, they have a pool and they can bring some guests to it. So we went to the pool and it wasn't busy at all. It was so nice. There was like no one there for the first hour we were there and then a couple people came but I still never got super crowded and the weather was amazing. I got a little bit of sun, not too much. Not enough for me to feel like itchy and all that sort of stuff but you may be able to tell my face a little bit, not for sure. But yeah, so we were at the pool and then we hung out for like the rest of the day and we played Mario Kart. We also played Nintendo Sports on the Switch and that was super fun. We also got canes for dinner which I haven't had canes in a long time so that was very delicious and then we we also went to Barnes and Noble and Target and Bath and Body Works. So I have a bit of a haul. So actually I didn't get this at Target, but I did get two other puppies. They weren't anything special. I just got the lemon lime flavor and the raspberry rose flavor. But I picked this one up from Kroger today actually and it's the orange cream flavor. I haven't seen this one anywhere so I am excited to try it out. We went to Target hoping to find the Barbie Olipop but it was not there unfortunately so my search for that will continue. Then I also got two energy drinks to try. So I got Alani New Pink Slush and their Orange Kiss flavor. I'm excited to try these. I will let you know what I think of those. Like I mentioned we went to Bath and Body Works and so I got one thing. I I just got this sugared lemon zest candle and it literally smells so good. It smells like a lemon cookie but better. I love it. I feel like it's also the perfect summery scent. Mm, it just smells so good. I am very excited to start burning this. And then lastly, like I mentioned, we went to Barnes & Noble. They had these tote bags for only $1, so I picked one of these up. And then I also got, this time it's real by Ann Lang. And this is a young adult book and it says, Can you fall in love for real with the whole world watching? When 17-year-old Elisa Lin's essay about meaning the love of her life goes viral, her entire life changes overnight. Now she has the approval of her classmates at her new international school in 
Beijing, a career launching intern opportunity at her favorite magazine, and a massive secret to keep. So it looks like she's going to be in a bit of a fake relationship, which I think this sounds really fun. It's kind of giving me 7% of Ro Devereaux vibes by Elena Clover. And so in 7% of Ro Devereaux, the girl's app goes viral and she has to fake date her match. So it's kind of similar, but kind of like different premises. But I think I will really like this. I think it's young adult and this author just recently came out with another book. I'm blanking on what that book is called, but it just came out this year and that is another way. And I'm also excited to read that one. So I will keep you guys up to date on my thoughts, of course. And then the next book I got is Summertime Punchline by Betty Corella. And I just thought this one looked really good. I love the cover of this one and I haven't really seen anyone talk about this one so I thought I would pick it up. It looks like a perfect summary read. It says a hilarious and sweeping love story about a comedian forced to return to her Jersey Shore hometown and confront everything she left behind 10 summers before including the man who broke her heart. This is kind of giving every summer after a little bit. Hmm. I feel like this is going to be really fun. It doesn't have a whole lot of reviews on Goodreads yet. It actually just came out, I think, the 21st. So this past Tuesday. So it hasn't been out long at all. So I'm also excited to keep you guys updated on this one. I am thinking about filming a reading vlog where I read summary books for a week. And I definitely want to include this one in there. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, that is the whole haul. I am very happy with both of my purchases. I can't wait to read both of these. One thing about this book is it's like very stiff. You need to like, I don't know, just like, I don't know, it's just like stiff, see? But I think as I read it, it will loosen up a bit. So stay tuned on thoughts on both of these. And yeah, I think those are all my updates, but I am going to start editing now. So I will talk to you guys later. Good morning is now the next day so i thought i would end off this vlog here i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a like and subscribe and i will see you all in another video soon